I recently met with Martin and Stian, two incredibly knowledgeable climbing coaches from Norway and authors of the Climbing Bible to bring you some climbing masterclasses. In this video, Martin was kind enough to run me through a workshop in an exercise that I really don't focus on often, campusing. Perhaps you only see campusing as the preserve of really strong climbers, but as a training tool, it's really effective in training both power and control and can be a really fun way to improve your climbing if done correctly. Campusing has a bit of an association as being kind of like the preserve of very strong climbers. Oh, yeah. Perhaps it's quite an intimidating skill for those that are newer to climbing yeah. um, or aren't climbing very, very hard. For this video, we thought that we would have a look in more detail at footless climbing and everything that entails. And I'm going to be learning how to use my arms only and get the most out of campus training. Uh, I think that... Um... It's beneficial because um, it's a very good way to train like the whole pulling uh, system. So you train your arms, you train your core. Uh, in some ways, you also train your fingers while doing it if the holds mm -hmm. are smaller. But I think we should start with bigger holds and yeah. do it the correct way and yeah. actually train the arms more. Okay. Um, so um, what we try to emphasize in the, especially in the practical exercises, is that. Uh, we want the climbing training to be specific to mm -hmm. climbing. Uh, and if you go and do some hangboard routine or okay. you do some campusing, of course it's uh, specific, but it's even more specific uh, towards what you're going to do on the wall. Mm -hmm. If it's actually climbing holds on the wall, it's more varied. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, uh, the movement pattern is, is more the same as well. So uh, what's hard about um, like the... Um, the footless climbing is that it's very physical because you can't use your feet at all. Mm -hmm. So you need to just pull with your arms. So we need to find a way uh, where everybody can do it, uh, sure. where it's not too hard. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, it makes sense to go to a steep wall just because yeah. if the wall is steeper, you don't have to pull so high on yeah, your arms. That sounds Maybe good. you can just hang here and try and lock and take the next hold here. Okay. So people think that when it gets harder, uh, or when it gets steeper, it gets harder. But actually, yeah. when it's footless climbing, it sometimes gets easier. If okay. the holds are good enough, though. Yeah. So uh, is that because you have more space around you to kind of generate? Maybe, momentum? maybe. But we should try and not swing too much <laughs> with our okay. body either. <laughs> okay. So, but we can use some momentum, okay. uh, of course. Mm -hmm. But it's. Um, I would rather say that um, if you, let's say you have a campus board though, like mm -hmm. a standard board. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, it's vertical, the 22 centimeters mm -hmm. makes you pull higher up you know to reach the next yeah. hold so if it's steeper the, um, it gets a bit shorter to reach the hold okay. and it's the same when you do the footless climbing uh, on the over overhanging wall if the, um, if the holds are here maybe the next one is just here yeah. so you can just basically don't pull so high to reach it okay but Maybe. we can just uh, get Give into it, it okay. maybe and mm -hmm. try some moves. Okay, yeah. let's go. <laughs> Pick one out for me. I think we should start with some um, some really good holes. Yeah. Uh, I would. Um, <laughs> These greens are looking nice. <laughs> yeah. Handles. Let's do the greens okay. in the beginning. Uh -huh. So I would actually start here uh, and uh, pull up and then try and match this one. And what we want you to do is to pull up and do it as controlled as you can. Okay. I do not want you to hang down here and just take it. You should okay. engage your pulling uh, system, your arms and core and everything. Okay. And um, I don't want you either to go and then just... Uh, <laughs> don't do this. Try. try and do it with control. Easy peasy. If this was too hard for you, what could we do to uh, sure, make it yeah, a bit how easier? Would you modify yeah, if you were not, if you were not able, because you can lock. You're pretty strong in your arms. I can mm -hmm. see that. Uh, if you were not strong enough, maybe I could try and support you a bit. Okay. Uh, so um, I can show you how if it's okay that I. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Then you just support here and you just give some weight up. Yeah. Perfect. And I guess if that was kind of quite an unfamiliar movement for you, or you didn't feel super confident, yeah. even if you did have the strength, it might be quite nice to have that kind of like power spot yeah, just to always, get a feel for the how it feels doing the movement it's always good straight. to start there yeah i think so you were doing this totally correctly but uh, something that people tend to do when they start doing this uh, campus uh, or fitness uh, climbing mm -hmm. is that they don't like twist in okay. and to be able to control it the same as when you climb in the steep terrain you know you you kind of want to twist in when you climb with your feet and everything get your hip inside yeah. or into the wall so if you hang like this it gets really physical on yeah. your arms to match it. So if you can go a bit like this, 
it's the same as when you do the long moves on the campus board, you know? You try and like pull in like this. And what it also does is that if you just hang like this and you don't twist in, you tend to get like the swing when you go here. So if you are able to get your feet a bit over in this direction, you won't get the swing. Sure. So I guess in some ways it's like you, you kind of have to anticipate the direction that your body will move in based on how the hold is like yeah. on the wall. Okay. I tend to call it like take out the swing before you execute the move. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that makes uh, sense in English. I tend to say it in Norwegian. Okay, <laughs> I think that makes sense. It makes sense? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Same as when you like, uh, if you have two holds like this, you know, when you climb. Yeah. And um, if you see indoor climbers, mm -hmm. they don't climb so much outdoors. They are not so used to finding like the perfect balance before they release one hand. So t they tend to hold like this and stand in the middle and then try and move this hand and they will just swing to the right, you know? Yeah. So you need to like flag behind or something to get, um, okay. to get the good balance. It's the same thing here, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the next uh, step uh, would be to try and combine a bit more mm -hmm. of these uh, movements. Okay. So we could try and start in the same position, match it, and then go tuck, 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 and match these two, okay. and then you're done. Nice. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> good. Very good. So you can actually see that when you like uh, exit the really steep terrain, you have to pull a lot higher. Yeah. So it actually gets harder yeah, when the definitely. wall gets uh, less steep. There was definitely, I noticed much more of a, I, I didn't catch it with a bent arm yeah. on the left. Sorry. Yeah. It was a, on, on this I one, was right? Falling yeah, I saw it. Yeah. I saw it. So what you could do there is uh, you could use, uh, either you could go up and match it, Sure. Or maybe you can use this one as an intermediate. Sure. Especially when you start training this uh, sort of uh, footless climbing, it's important to just do it the correct way. If I wanted to start incorporating campusing or yep. footless climbing into my training to help yep. bring on my climbing, how might I integrate it into my, my session? Or yep. um, yeah, where might I place it in amongst my, my climbing session? Yeah. So the most important thing about the physical training mm -hmm. is that you feel rested and strong when you actually do like the high intensity training and this will be high intensity training for sure so do it quite uh, if you are to combine more things in a session um, like today we're doing both footwork yeah. and uh, physical training do it after the warm-up like have a good warm-up on the floor with basic uh, drills do some uh, pull-ups mm -hmm. I'd say for this uh, type of uh, mm -hmm. training and um, do it before you're tired uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, during, um, during a week, if you need to schedule it uh, in your training week, then uh, do it, uh, it's always like this, do like the power training first, okay. and then like the strength training. Mm -hmm. uh, you need more, um, to rest more before the power training, and then before the strength training, and then before the endurance training, if you do that. You do probably, okay. you don't do that much lead climbing. <laughs> no. But still, you probably have sessions with many boulders, you know. Yeah, I think so. my volume of bouldering, like I'll do a lot of boulders over a session. Yeah, and yeah. so then I'd do it in the beginning, really. Okay. The next step, I think, would be to try and include fingers a bit more. Okay. If this is like, an, um, like a substitution, like a better thing to do than the campus board, the campus board is quite fingery. So yeah. we could try and incorporate some bit finger strength as well. You need to find the holds that are suitable for your level. Uh, yeah. And that's one of the things that we really, as coaches, try to emphasize to the people we train okay. is that there's always like a finite amount of boulders on the wall that will be suitable for your level for what you're targeting at mm -hmm. that session so it's so much easier for you if you can find and make up the boulders yourselves uh, sure. like we talked yeah. about before this uh, interview when we started climbing there were no set boulders we yeah. had lead walls and we had spray walls yeah. and we just had to make our own boulders the okay. whole time and if you guys are able to do that when you train yeah. I mean, there's just an infinite amount of yeah. boulders that you can train on here, really. Yeah, so get so, creative. Yeah, get creative, your, for make, sure. Make up your own. If you can't find something that suits what you need to train on in the gym, you can make it up. Make it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start on this one. And let's go left hand to <laughs> yeah. the white one. And then just go right hand to this one. Okay. Start like that, yeah. Come on. Ah, oh, nice. 
Ah, you're very strong. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, now we have like tried both um, sort of juggy yeah. uh, moves where we just use the pulling system mm -hmm. and also more fingery stuff. We could combine this okay. into more fingery for the right hand as well. And yep. then uh, when we know that you're able to do this, I think we should um, try and make the boulders that we train on between four and six moves. Okay. I think that's a good, uh, that's like a good, uh, yeah. Yeah, good number of moves. Yeah. Um, should we try and make one? Yeah, let's yeah. try. Okay. Uh, we can start on this uh, two then. Mm -hmm. And let's go left. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh. Left. Maybe you could go all the way. No. Oh, you could go to that one. You want to try? I'll try. <laughs> Might be hard, <laughs> but we'll see. And then this one. Uh huh. And you're finished. Okay. You might have to remind me where I'm yep. going. Those two. This yeah. one. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Black. Okay. Yeah. And then black. Come on. Yes. Perfect. Come on. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, because this be one was really bad, huh? Good, yeah. We should really put a jug here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you're here, just do a batang in the yellow one and <laughs> yeah. you're finished. <laughs> Done. Come on. Black one? Come on, back in. Yes, come on, come on. Come on. It's good. No, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the worst <laughs> top hold ever. I, I, I think I sink too low on it. Yeah. My shoulders are completely like disengaged. Yeah. So. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is, so I'm actually like, I think we pushed this move too far because you're so stretched out, so you're not able to like pull off on it. What we were practicing today was to be in control of the uh, movements yeah. and sorry for making a very hard uh, finish no. of this boulder. I think the starting was good yeah. and then when we came to this point maybe we could have done like the cross through to this one or something yeah. instead just to make it more controlled. For sure. I've got a um, new project. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I was thinking one more thing though, because this whole pulling strength that we've been practicing now, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's really important to train that, but maybe we should try and train what we call like the, um, I tend to call it like the tension or like the power, mm -hmm. uh, just the ability to grip a hold real fast. Okay. Uh, and um, one of the best ways to do it, I do that both on the campus board and, but also on the, on the bouldering wall is to either jump to one hold. You have one, uh, if you have this with uh, your uh, like left hand and you jump to this uh, mm -hmm. yellow one. And then when you reach it, like your whole body should try and freeze. Just right, right. Da, 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 da. How tall are you? Could you reach? Could you jump to this one, you think? It's going yeah, to be hard. Uh, I reckon, I could try. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, it here. was quite far. Like, hmm. <laughs> ah, strong. Nice. Very impressive. Yeah. Yeah, you have good power. Yeah. yeah. I no, need to because... find a way to not drop my pinky. I do that all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's probably not. <laughs> yeah, and then you get a bit down on your shoulder as yeah. well. That's actually a good tip, though, when you do this campus thing to try and keep your uh, pinky your on. on. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So, and we could do this a bit uh, if it gets hard uh, with jumping. We could do it with one foot as well, you know? Okay. Just stand on the ground and up to it. Yeah. Do you go left or right foot? I went right. Go right. Oh, it's <laughs> almost harder. <laughs> yeah, it did feel harder, I yeah, think. Yeah, so I. Because the foot was so had far to come in. Back so. more rather than being able to hang underneath. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I think there is, I mean, what we show here is that there's just so many 
ways that you can make up moves like this yeah. just to practice the different uh, yeah, things definitely. and I find that the same way that when you do this uh, campus board uh, in the roof that you should do like the tricks or something afterwards just to keep sure. the technique okay. uh, if you just do the static pulling that we were doing now in the roof sometimes it's good to on the next session do something that requires power you know and this mm -hmm. is a good way to train power okay. so mix it up a bit but start uh, for of course start with uh, like the basic pulling exercises get strong in your arms and your shoulders and yeah. also your core and then go into more advanced drills like this afterwards, I think. I guess something that people might be wondering watching this video is um, if you kind of have to be at a certain level or um, have been climbing for a certain amount of time before you can start incorporating this kind of thing into your climbing. Yeah, no, I think that um, if you climb for less than a year and you haven't mm -hmm. climbed all that much that year either, Yeah. I always tend to think that it's Climbing is the best training for climbing. Sure. So, and this is pretty close to climbing, so it's really good, uh, good training for climbing. Yeah. But um, try and climb more than you train. I think it's more important. Okay. But if you feel like your power or your pulling strength it's, uh, is holding you back, yeah. um, this is a really good exercise to train that strength. Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, then go for it. Perfect. I get, um, this doesn't have to be filmed, but I guess. Um, generally, if you've just started climbing or you're in your first year of climbing, the kinds of boulders that you might be approaching in the gym, yeah. you're unlikely to have to be able to campus through moves. Yeah. And actually, you might be better off focusing on the things that the route requires of you to improve your climbing rather yeah. than learning how to um, get away with just your upper body yeah. strength. Yeah. If that's fair to say. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> and uh, what I tend to have uh, clients or people, I normally train kids or young, uh, young climbers. And what I normally ask them to do is that if we have like a campus session in this roof, mm -hmm. they're training their pulling uh, system, then um, maybe they can try and climb some of the boulders in the roof afterwards sure. uh, without losing their feet at all. So they'd yeah. have to use all the tricks, you know, they have to use the heel hooks, they have to use the mm -hmm. toe hooks and if they lose a foot they have to go down and sure. try again i think that's actually uh, also like an exercise we had in the practical exercises book yeah which is called i think it's called trickster 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 yeah okay use the tricks and <laughs> <laughs> don't only your power okay so because that's uh, i think it's it's always important to train your uh, mm. pulling uh, your pulling strength sure. but um, don't forget how to climb sure yeah, yeah. okay makes sense i guess um is there, so in the Climbing Bible practical exercises, is there uh, like suggested protocols for it is. sessions? For, okay. It is. So that brings to an end my Footless Climbing 101 with Martin. Thank you very much for your time. Um, I really enjoyed that. It's not something that I usually incorporate into a session at all. Um, I've always kind of had myself down as like not that good at campusing. I think you're pretty good but at this. Yeah, it's fun. I've definitely got myself a project now in the yeah. corner of the gym too to go and work on. The but last the ending project. Yeah, exactly. But um, <laughs> what we were saying, which I think is important to cover at the end, is that really the value in this is keeping it controlled and making sure that you're not pushing yourself to a point that maybe your body is not quite capable of yet because I think that's where you're going to enter into kind of dangerous territory and uh, injury-prone territory. Yep. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for running me through some footless climbing. I hope that you found that informative. If you want to learn more about campusing, footless climbing, or any of the other drills and techniques covered in the Climbing Bible, um, then you can use the link in the description below to click through to buy a copy of the book. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me, it was fun. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.